I can't think of anything. I'm sorry. I'd like to be able to, but I loved her. I do love her. I actually can't right now deal with the idea that she's gone, that I might not ever wake up with her again or go on holiday because, sorry if this is a bit, but I think she might be my soulmate. Stupid things like I love watching her eat. The way she eats is so, and she's funny and she's beautiful and brave and like we were on the tube once it was really crushed and there was this man he wasn't like a tramp he was in a suit he had a briefcase and she realized that this man had taken out his you know his penis through his flies and, and he was sort of rubbing it on her. But the tube was so packed, you know, so people didn't notice. But when she saw it, she started shouting really loud, look at his chipolata. Until everyone was staring at them and you'd think that would be really embarrassing, wouldn't you? But I just love that. She's just fearless. And what happened is the whole tube together started chanting at him. We're all chanting at this man, Chipolata, Chipolata. <laughs> and, and I thought, I actually feel like part of something, you know? For the first time in my life, I feel like I'm part of something. Like we people together can change things. People can stand up and stop shit things happening. Because that's what it was like when I was with her. I felt connected to the world and all the things that the world could be if we were just better versions of ourselves. So it's like that better world was sort of like a shared space that existed in both our heads. There was like this world that we lived in together that we'd helped to make and it was just for us. It was our secret. We had a secret and we lived in it together and that's it, really. I just really love her. <laughs>